Hello there. So why should you, the EastEnders public, boycott EastEnders? I'm talking directly to you people who have bitched and moaned about this show for over a decade, just like I have. It's time to take action. The latest outrage is the news that Keanu and one of the most iconic characters in so history, Sharon Mitchell, will be having an affair. Now, can you see this? Can you, is this what you want? To watch Sharon and Keanu have an affair? Can you imagine them kissing? Can you imagine them having sex? Can you imagine these two people being in love? It's ridiculous and it's gone from bad to worse. In the past decade, we've seen Dirty Den, the most iconic character in soap history, being killed by Pauline Fowler's doorstop. Ridiculous. We are now at a situation at the beginning of the year, we were told that both Branning sisters would be killed while Abby fell off the Vic roof and was a vegetable in a coma and died. Lauren Branning had the same fall and skipped away and lived happily ever after. Are you willing to be fed this lemon forever? They've been given chance after chance to evolve the show, to give it the open heart surgery that this show desperately needs. But all we get from the producers or anyone who talks to us online about EastEnders who works on the show, we can't please everyone. My mum was down the laundrette and these people said this, we do not care anymore. It's done, it's dusted, it's over. So if you're not happy with EastEnders, join me in the ultimate boycott. But let's not just boycott it, let's do something online, hashtagging it while it's on. I don't know what. I haven't planned that far ahead. Are you with me? Do you want to be involved in an EastEnders boycott? It's something we can talk about. It's something we can plan. We can save this show. We won't kill it. They won't cancel it. They'll change it. They will not cancel EastEnders. But the level of what we're seeing now is so bad, so inept, and I'm not the only one talking about this. People all over the internet are talking how bad EastEnders is. So what do you want to do? Keep on enabling this mediocrity or do you want to show the BBC the power of the fans, the power of the public, the power of the audience? It's up to you. I myself are here in Cyprus. I'm developing the first English speaking dramas here on Cypriot TV. And one of those developments I'm involved with is a British soap set in Cyprus. So I for one, will be listening to the expat community here in Cyprus telling me what they want from English speaking content. What I will not be doing is saying, oh, I can't please you all. Maybe you can't please everyone. But the moment we stop trying in the entertainment industry to please everyone, we might as well pack up and just go work at McDonald's. Not that there's anything wrong with working at McDonald's, by the way. I'm just saying, using that as an example, the situation is simple. The public is our customer. The public is our boss. You, the EastEnders fans, the license paying, license fee paying public are the bosses of the BBC, of the EastEnders cast. Now they, and the producers and everyone, and they are not delivering what we want. I've got nothing personal against anyone who works on that show, but there's a lot of mediocrity on that show. And there's a lot of people who shouldn't be on that show in the cast, in the writing team, um, in the, on the production team. And, you know, we want to send a message, I think, uh, to the head of Continuing Drama, who's Oliver Kent. Oliver Kent is a man I have a lot of respect for. He's the one who produced Holby and Casualty for years and done a marvellous job. And the EastEnders problems were there before Oliver took over of head of Continuing Drama. But he's the man at the top. He's the man we need to get to. I don't think Oliver believes there's a problem either because he's been very defensive on, in the past on Twitter when people have complained. But maybe those people haven't complained enough. I know people who tag the producers and say this is not good enough. They don't care. Either they ignore us or they tell us you can't please everyone. Well, fine. Let's not have a narrative with these people anymore. Let's not have a dialogue with these people. Let's show them the power of the audience. The power of the audience is this, that EastEnders hasn't been a viable show for nearly 15 years. 
15 years. If Coronation Street or Emmerdale or Hollyoaks were this bad, they would have been taken off the air. Why? Because they're on commercial television. EastEnders isn't on commercial television, so it doesn't matter if they get four to five million views. It's fine. There's no advertisers. Uh, you know, they don't even care about selling it abroad anymore. EastEnders has never done that well abroad. But here's the thing. Let's just say I was given the opportunity to run EastEnders. If you see my other videos, you know what I'd do. I would look at this cast and, you know, first of all, the tailors would be gone. The tailors are a non-entity for me and they would be gone. We all imagine when John York returned to producing EastEnders that it was going to be happily ever after for us, the long-suffering EastEnders fans. But that's just not been the case, guys. Um, it's been worse. It's just got worse. And I'm just wondering who's running this show. Who's been running EastEnders for the past 10, 15 years the showrunners who we keep on blaming, or the corporation, the British Broadcasting Corporation, the BBC, they're to blame. I respect them. I think they do a great job with entertaining and informing the public. But this, this show, EastEnders, they have not done a good job. My my platform, my concept, um, my idea for EastEnders is to make it a show that you could sell internationally. So what I my idea would be, first of all, is to have it on the BBC for English audiences and then um, sell it to Netflix for international audiences. But for Netflix to be interested in an international deal, it would have to be a show that really worked, that really excited people. First of all, I believe EastEnders needs to evolve into a one hour drama twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. Again, a lot of EastEnders fans will think this is rubbish. I think it needs to be more violent. I think it needs to be darker. It needs to be grittier. Uh, we want to see blood. We want to see violence. We want to, you know, we want to see raw storytelling. And I think with that, first of all, though, we need to know how life in the EastEnders is. East End is, sorry. Um, it's called the East End. It's not actually called EastEnders, is it? Uh, sorry. But basically what I'm saying is we need to research what it's like to live in the East End. Let's reflect that life. Um, the LBGT community is not being reflected at all. EastEnders has a history of reflecting the LBGT community. The way they deal with social issues is terrible. The knife crime story was so inconsistent, so lame, and they've been doing this for a while. It's all very well standing from the rooftop saying, we're going to reflect knife crime. Some woman who used to be on the show and whose brother was killed by a knife said it's okay. Look, that's all well and good, but the sh it wasn't okay. They did it. It's done. It's dusted now. And the way they were talking, it was like they actually solved knife crime, which they didn't. No one can do that. But they didn't even do it, it properly. It didn't work. Nothing they do works. You know... I can imagine, you know, I can imagine them when we're sitting in the right room, writers' rooms. Let's do this. And then it's all in the execution as well in the past 10 years of EastEnders. They don't seem to execute anything properly. And one of the major issues was back in its heyday when they just focused on the Mitchells. And they didn't really have anything coming behind that. And what happened was one day Ross Kemp wakes up, wants to leave, signs an exclusive contract with ITV. He's gone and they've got nothing else. So they used Phil as this really, you know, bad guy. Then they do Who Shot Phil, which really worked. Steve McFadden gets fed up, leaves for a year, bring Les Grand from in as Dirty Den. That works while Steve McFadden's playing off of him. But when he goes, it's lame, which Leslie Grantham even admitted when he was a guest on the Jeremy Cole show. Yeah, I shit you not. Obviously, Leslie is dead now. I don't want to go too much into it. Him, but he, Dirty Den was the ultimate character of EastEnders and he wasn't really treated that well. And I don't care that Leslie Grantham was on the internet dressed as Captain Hook getting his, what you call it, out. It doesn't matter to me. Great actor, great character. You shouldn't have killed him off in the first place. So we need a boycott. We just need to boycott this show once and for all and show them the BBC will not stand for this any longer. If you are not happy with the mediocrity, the way this show's been urinated upon, then join me in a boycott. What you can do is subscribe, press the bell, comment down below with your ideas on how to do this boycott, on how to show the BBC that we will take this no more.
we'll speak again.